Good morning everyone. You're on Chekarudi's channel and if you stay tuned you're going to see his daily life and his life on the road and yep that's right I'm his son and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning, everybody Well, we are back on the road again Got an early start this morning. Yeah, it was still dark there in Effingham when we left, so decided to just wait till the sun comes up till we start recording our show. Yeah, and now I see the sun there from behind me. They're starting to come through the bushes. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day out here. Gorgeous. Nice and quiet right now. Ah! Yeah, looks like it's uh, not going to rain, at least as of yet. Maybe later on, I don't know, but I know it's nice. Very nice. We will be going through Nashville, Tennessee here later on today. So we got some more uh, scenery areas to go through, which we haven't been through in a long time. So that'll be interesting. For especially for the new subscribers, right? So Let's have ourselves an awesome day. Thank you for riding along with us. Let's show you what we can. And have ourselves an awesome day. I hope you will too. Alrighty guys, this will probably look familiar to you guys because uh, I believe Trucker Jukebox has shown this a few times. Yeah, he's gone across this place here a few times already. We just entered Kentucky, as you heard uh, RJ say. Yeah, I think uh, Jukebox always says this is the Mississippi River. Yeah, I think that's what he said last time. But it was fairly backed up there last time he come across here, and uh, today it's uh, easy going. Easily cruising it over, and he said that looked like the water is lower than it used to be and uh, it actually does look kind of lower than it maybe has been at times you know but we are officially in Kentucky we have about 372 miles to go to our final destination should be there early this afternoon RJ says at three o'clock but I'll probably stop somewhere and get me a bite to eat probably and we'll see I'm hoping that I'll be able to get all the way up there with this fuel I'm really hoping that that's going to be the case although I'm doubting it a little bit but we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see how it is and if we can't make it well I'm just gonna have to put a little bit of fuel in just to get to our delivery place and then we'll get this load off and then uh, we'll slowly make our way over to Louisiana yeah but it is still gorgeous out here that is I love driving on a nice quiet Sunday day you know it's really quiet Hopefully Nashville, Tennessee will be quiet too. Looks like I got about 138 miles to go to Nashville. But we'll just 
continue on cruising along here and have ourselves a fantastic day, which we have had so far. Got the pilot here right across the border. Pilot truck stop. That's not a very big pilot truck stop up there, but right now there is parking in there. I can see it from here, but try parking there at night. You ain't gonna find a parking spot. I guarantee you that. Yep, you're gonna have to get there early if you want a parking spot in there. There's actually a truck stop over there to the left as well. And I know there's a rest area just a little further down the road here too. Where I have stopped a couple of times at. But we don't really need to stop just yet. I will have to stop and have my half an hour break somewhere, but uh, don't know exactly where that's going to happen. It is time to go have a pit stop. Yeah, I've decided to stop at this Fly and J up here. Approaching destination in 500 feet on the right side. Okay. Arborn, Oklahoma, Oak Grove Drive or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. You have arrived at your destination on the right side. Flying J Travel Plaza number 662. There you go. Now you know where I'm at. Yes, that's right. It's a fairly small Flying J up here too. Yeah, that's true. But we're going to go in there and have us a little bit of a breakfast and then we'll continue on. What the heck is this guy doing here? Sort of porter <laughs> on the shoulder or whatever. Oh man, you just had to pull through there, didn't you? Alright, I don't know if you're planning on driving through or not, but looks like not. So I guess we'll just have to choose a different place. Yeah, well, that's okay. Let's see if we can go through here. Yeah, we can go through here. So let's do that instead. One, two parking spots further. That's okay, you know. There we go. Making it in there. So, anyways, let's uh, cut the cameras and then we'll see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, I'm here at the Flying J. Just want to show you guys something here real cool. Look at the lineup over here at the Flying J and they're saying that truck drivers do not get priority yet. So uh, we have to see how long the wait is going to be. Well guys, we decided to leave this Flying J. I asked them if I would get priority because I'm a truck driver. And they said, nope, we have no priority here. And I asked them if they would mind to come on camera and tell you guys about it tell YouTube about it and nobody was willing to come on camera I said okay fine I'll just leave because I think truck drivers in my opinion should get priority at the restaurant at a Flying J truck stop or a matter of fact speaking any truck stop in my opinion all the local guys are coming here and having bre uh, breakfast now, right now, coming back from church. Fort Campbell Boulevard. A parking US spot is filled with cars, four wheelers. People in there have um, a bite to eat. There's nothing wrong with people coming to the truck stop to eat, but I think the uh, Flying J should give priority to truck drivers because we have no other place to go really I mean that's really the only place that I can go to have something to eat I can't go pull into McDonald's and they don't have the parking so I think Flying J should consider that maybe I will contact Flying J head office one of these days and I'll complain about that because I've had this a few times now where on the Sunday I want to go in and have me a quick breakfast and the damn place is packed. I mean, you saw how many people were lined up over there 
just trying to get in there and have something to eat, you know. And to me, that's wrong that the truck driver doesn't get priority. That's just my opinion. I guess somebody else might have a different opinion, but... Uh, Anyways, now we're just going to get out of here. I didn't even grab me a sandwich. I just figured if they, they ain't going to get me into the restaurant ASAP, then uh, I'm not going to spend a dime at their place. I ain't gonna, they're not going to get a cent from me. And in my opinion, they don't want my business. So I'll take my business somewhere else. As you guys should probably tell, I'm a little pissed off. In 700 feet, take the entrance to the right on It's okay, we'll just get out of here. We have just entered Alabama, and this is a place that I've been wanting to stop for a while. I always don't seem to get the time or whatever to stop in here, so we're going to go make a pit stop in here today. They got a spaceship in here. Yeah, a rocket. So I think we'll go take the camera out and we will actually go real close up to it and uh, maybe do a little bit of videoing of it. Hopefully some of you guys will find that interesting enough to uh, where you will like it. Yeah. It's a very nice Continuous rest area up here. To 103 miles. Yep. 103 miles, eh? Okay. Well. I'm gonna go pull in here and find me a parking spot. We'll go and see in this rest area up here. I'll probably warm me up something to eat here anyway, so I'm getting hungry. I do have food in my truck, so continue yeah, on this road that for first and then we'll go over there and probably go for a little bit of a walk. Show you guys all that good stuff, so. We'll see you guys in a minute. Here we go, guys. This is it. Let's have a look. Way up there. We're just actually walking right up to it. We got all kinds of uh, information up here about the rocket ship and uh, all that stuff. NASA stuff, probably. Yeah, here we go. NASA. Yep. Alabama will continue to be the key. All right. That's good. See, that's what it usually looks like. Big rocket ship, hey? I wonder if this one actually ever been up on the, on the space or not. Look at that. That's huge. My goodness. That looks way bigger than, than you ever look at it at movies, you know? Yep. Giving you guys some info there on 1979. I guess the state uh, decided to make this a memorial. I'm just going to kind of walk around on uh, on the whole spiel up here and give you guys the view that I'm seeing. I just always thought that this is an interesting place and always wanted to stop in here and have a look at it. Let me grab my phone. I'll take a couple of pictures with it. Oh, let me see. Let me see. There we go. Oh. Send my wife maybe a few pictures or whatever. We got the interstate just right down there. We got something else up there, but that is just absolutely huge. And to be putting it up on the rest area is even more interesting, you know? That's just amazing. Wow, that is a tall monster. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the truck. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. I hope you guys have, uh, especially the kids out there, you know, they probably would find this very interesting, especially the ones that, that like spaceships and all that stuff, you know. I think it would be very interesting to you guys to watch something like this, you know. Anyways, we'll get out of here and uh, we'll see what we'll all be up to today. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. We are in Lincoln, Alabama. And I just had me a nice shower, much needed shower, much deserved shower too. 
Yeah, we're at the pilot over here at 165 mile marker on I-20 in Lincoln, Alabama, like I said. Yeah, and we are pretty much done for today. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go put a video together and then we got to go to bed pretty soon because we got to get up uh, probably at 5 o'clock, 5.30 at the latest. And then I got to be over there at the delivery place at 6 o'clock for sure. So, I figure I close my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to rate it up if you liked it. Share the video, and uh, if you're new to our channel, we would love to have you on board. So with that, have a good one everybody, and we shall see you tomorrow. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is going.